Good morning. Day six. Um, not really on the Appalachian Trail. I'm still at Blood Mountain Cabins waiting for a shuttle to take me to Hog, Hog Pens Gap, which I'll be heading towards Unicoi then. Uh, my goal is to get to at least Blue Mountain Shelter, which is only about 11 miles, 12 miles from Hog's Pen Gap. And uh, I might push it through to Unicoi Gap. Um, still depends really on the weather. Don't, uh, looks like Saturday could be pretty ugly, 100% chance of rain. Yesterday was just completely awful. After about 8 a.m., it just rained and thundered and rained and thundered. So I hope, you know, all the people I know up on the trail and the ones I don't, I hope they're all okay that they found shelter because it was not a good day. Um, from what I heard, they got one to two inches of rain all over up here. That's a lot of rain. So it'll make uh, fording the little creeks and stuff interesting up to now we've just been stepping across the um, uh, stones but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have really wet feet walk down the trail up to the store and it was pretty much just all mud and water but uh, it's part of the trail so goal is Blue Mountain Shelter and then Unicoid Gap my push goal, which I don't think I'm going to get there because the shuttle doesn't pick me up until 9. Uh, push goal is to get to Trey Mountain Shelter and then drop down into uh, Dick's Creek Gap in case the weather gets really bad. But um, that's probably very unlikely unless I hike until 7 or 8 p.m. But um, depends on the weather, really. Once I uh, look at the weather report, I'll probably make a little bit better decision. But... That's it for now. Thanks. This is when the trail becomes the creek. Saw from that storm. Yesterday. It's all good though. Because of all the rain, you got a lot of these little tiny uh, waterfalls. Sorry, it got dark. But you got a lot of little tiny waterfalls out here. It's pretty cool. Very, very nice. Just another little waterfall on the trail. Actually, I think the creek is going to go across the trail. Just a different view of that little waterfall coming out of the hills. Of course, the little waterfall with the runoff does make a little bit of fun. Because now the trail is a creek. You got to really be careful of those clumps of uh, leaves. They are slippery and all heck. So just remember that. Leaves can be your friend, but after a rain, usually not your friend. All right, I'll check in later. Okay, I'm about just about 11 miles in on the trail, and this is all the water I have left. So I know my great nieces are out there watching this, and I know Stickman already knows how to do this, but I figured I'd show my great nieces how you get water on the trail. Well, this is going to be Buana's drinking faucet right here. So after I drink my water, I'll do a video and show you how you do this. So what you do, you find your drinking source. Hope I can see this. Yep. You find your drinking source. And then I use something called a knock with a Sawyer squeeze on it. But they keep in a bag here because Sometimes you actually have to sleep with your story squeeze if it's going to get down below freezing. And plus I kind of like to keep my water clean. So this is a dirty water bag and this is my Sawyer squeeze. And so what I'm going to do is fill this up with the water and then I'll fill my bottles with clean water after they go through this cool little filter here. So here we go. Perfect.
And there you go. All fresh water. Buana action news here for you. Um, coming down that rock right there. My hiking pole slipped out from under me and then I went down where that tree is. But it broke my fall. Nothing uh, hurt except for my pride. One! I made sure I yelled that out so everybody knew I had my first fall. Uh, I got a couple scratches on my legs. But not too horrible. Uh, at least my phone isn't damaged. Neither am I. So my pack kind of broke my fall, so that's a good thing. All right. Well, that's, that happens when you're trucking along and your feet get wet and your hiking poles slip on rocks. You guys got to be careful out here. Later. So that very likely is Blue Mountain, which is my destination. That's my short-term goal. Sorry for the wind or me huffing and puffing. Just came up a little bit of a hill. But... It's about 12 o'clock. I think I'm about four miles out, maybe less than that. But I may push on to Trey Mountain Shelter, which is another 10 miles, I think, beyond this one, which you put in a 20-mile day. Up on top of that hill, I don't know if you could see it. I could zoom in, I guess. But there's a, uh, a watchtower or something up there. So in any case, if I see anything else interesting, I'll uh, check in with you guys again. Happy trails. So I'm about six miles in on the trail from Hogs uh, Pen Gap, heading towards uh, Blue Mountain Shelter. But if you like uh, waterfalls, this is definitely the trail for you. It's this is just I love them. This is fantastic. All right, checking in later. Okay, I just arrived at the uh, top of Blue Mountain at the shelter. This is a stunning view from up here. It's really incredible. Um, about 11.3 miles from Hogs Pen Gap. It was uh, a tough trail. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep going or not. Uh, Stickman, here's a tour of the shelter at the uh, Blue Mountain. So here's the Blue Mountain shelter. You can see it's got a nice little table here and some benches to sit on. I, of course, threw my pack here. There's nobody else here but me. Um, in case you're wondering what these are, you may see them in other uh, uh, shelters. There's actually a log in there. You can sign in, say you're there. You can leave messages for people behind you, tell them you're where you're at. A little foxtail and dustpin so you can clean up. Um, and then this one's only a single story. There's a place up there to hang your packs. I would not do that, but that's up to you because mice like those. And if you look up here, you'll see where people have hung their packs trying to keep the mice out of their packs. They'll chew right through a pack in a heartbeat. So you have to be really careful. I'm not a fan of shelters. I'm gonna to try to avoid these, not only because of the mice, but with COVID and you have, if you have like 15, 20 people packed in there, and yes, they will pack that many people in there. It's probably not the healthiest place to be, but the view, you can't complain about that view, can you? I'm um, going to look for a tent site. I'm not going to probably go up there because that's pretty exposed. So I'll probably go to the other side down here and pick one of these little spots down here. Not supposed to have any wind or rain tonight, but we'll see. As um, soon as I finish this, I'm going to be getting some grub for lunch because it's about 2 o'clock and I haven't eaten yet. <coughs> and then I'm going to uh, see about... Uh, whether I'm going to move on or not, I'm going to check the weather. And depending on what the weather looks like, I may be hiking on and heading for Unicoi and see if I can get a ride into town to go get a hotel because I'm not going to hike in a thunderstorm. But uh, from what I've seen, I'm not supposed to, they're not supposed to be getting thunderstorms until late tomorrow. And I'm going to try to get to uh, Trey Mountain and then down to Dix Creek Gap before the storms get here. But I uh, means I got to push on if I am all right out of out from the trail okay I just arrived at Unicoi Gap it's been 15 mile day already we'll see uh, if I can get to that next campsite it's up that hill so we'll see so I'm heading to Indian Grave Gap tenting site 
and this is the uh, creek coming down the mountain. Lots and lots of water. It's pretty impressive. It's supposed to rain starting about 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, so I may be putting away a wet tent, but we'll see. Take care. Okay, so I just made it to the top of Rocky Mount, um, so, or Georgia, I mean. Um, just came up that hill, about a 1,500 foot climb after 15 miles on my legs. Pretty, pretty killer. Um, pushing on to uh, the Cheese Factory tent site, which is another two and a half miles ahead of me, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be terribly horrible. I think I got about 600 foot elevation climb to do. And hopefully I'll be done for the night, except for setting up a tent and getting in it. Y'all take care.